Thank you very much. Cahirlach. Cahirlach, I just want to echo the uh, comments that have been made by, by my friend and colleague, Senator Daly, about the uh, government's neglect of rural Ireland. Um, I mean, when you live in, in rural Ireland, as I do in County Leitrim, uh, which would be mirrored across the country, you can see at first hand the impact that government policies have had, closure of Garda stations, the threat to post offices, and I would hope, I would hope that the Bobby Kerr report will, will awaken somebody in government to actually make a positive, a positive, or take positive initiatives to ensure that the rural post office network is maintained. Another aspect of my contribution in relation to the neglect of rural Ireland comes with the damning report from the Department of Transport on the lack of funding for uh, the maintenance of our road network. Now, I have on many occasions in this House over the last number of years railed against what I saw as underinvestment, and it has been brought home to me repeatedly as a member of the Transport Committee of this House, or of the, of the, the Joint Eroptus Committee on Transport, where we have heard at first hand from the various uh, stakeholders involved in maintaining our road network uh, that there has been underfunding going on for years. And you see, when you put that against the government's spin that the economy is rapidly recovering and that there's now money out there, and you've only got to look at the auction politics that's now been engaged in by both Labour and Fine Gael, the most latest from Labour, that they're going to actually reduce the college fees by 500. Who is going to believe them? Who is going to believe them? Exactly. Who is going to believe the Labour Party coming out saying they're going to reduce university fees by 500? So what I'm saying is, is that this idea of trying to buy the public and at the same time when our, rural, when our road network is crumbling at our feet, the NTA told us at a transport committee meeting in the last 12 months Coherlock, that they need 300 million a year just to maintain the network, just to maintain the network. And yet the figures that have come out in the report from the Department of Transport itself suggests that there has been a rapid decline in investment in our road network, both at national primary level and at secondary road level, which is perhaps more insidious because there are roads in my county and in others in rural Ireland that are beginning to crumble and eroded, and particularly with the rainfall of the last two months. And many of us are old enough to remember the men that used to be out on the roads with a shovel, and you'd wonder what they'd be doing. Well, what they were doing until that service was withdrawn as a result of lack of government investment is they were clearing drains and gullies and roadways into, in order to ensure that the surfaces were maintained. So what I'm saying in an overall context is I wish that we had enough time to bring in the Minister for the Environment to answer these questions, these important questions that are impacting as we speak on people living in small communities across this country. And I don't believe that this government has either the heart or the soul to even commit to making their lives better. Senator, um